Hello YouTube fam, how you doing? It's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel where I rant and I review fam. Today we're going to just talk nonsense. You know what? The woke movement done destroyed the damn toy market. You know, everybody got exclusives. Everybody got all these, um, you know, just for their store. And I'm sitting here fam, just sitting here like, damn, this is so effed up because none of this stuff works. You know, the stores that boast to have it don't have it. And you sitting here angry as hell, stressed out, right? Now, let's talk about that pre-order with that Batmobile, fam. I already got people trying to scalp already with me. You know, like, hey, um, you know, I'll go ahead and throw it to you for this price. Man, you know what? I'm going to say this shit. You know, I'm going to say it. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't, fam. Um, You know, sometimes when you hear me talk here, you know, I do get frustrated. You know, I just don't have the extra time to allocate to actually wait for the toys or be there for the toys, fam. It, it's it's just a lot. When you sit back and look at some of this damn stuff, you just sit back and just wonder, what is really going on? Do anybody really care about us? Do these toy companies actually care about their customers? No. Fam, you know what? It's McFarlane scalping his own shit. Look, I went over to his um, Amazon page, you know, McFarlane's Amazon page, and I noticed that the Batmobile, man, is like, what, 120 I think? And if you get it shipped, it's like, what, 200 So it's 120 I think. And if you get it, like, for $20, it may ship next year in January. What the hell is really going on? Is that really his page with that Batmobile on there with those other Batmans? Because, see, I was looking at some of those movie figures from The Flash, those Batmans. I don't know if those are his. Those look like third parties. Those are his figures, but they're being sold by somebody else on his page and i was just trying to figure was the batmobile the same situation you know man i'm just starting to get tired man there's so much shit going on everything is so overpriced right now and just when you get that little bit of break here go the curveball you know um i'm sitting here thinking how could mcfarlane uh mattel create vehicles for the toys. Then you go out and look at G.I. Joe Classified. You don't see no vehicles. You don't see shit. You see motorcycles. You got to create shit yourself, man. You know what? You're getting tired and fed up and stressed the hell out with all of this. You know, um, it's a shame when, you know, the toy companies are scalping their own shit. And I believe that that is happening. I can't say for sure it's McFarlane. I can't say for sure it's Hasbro, Mattel, Super 7. But man, you know, they're creating that demand. Then all of a sudden, they only send out a few of them. And you're like, what the hell's going on? You know what? How could you be sold out of pre-orders? You pre-ordering the merchandise half of the damn time. You know, I'm like, <laughs> but I'm like, they only got an infinite amount of supply. But damn. And, you know, people were like, hey, Unc, maybe you should wait, because I was thinking the same thing. You know, if it's um, a McFarlane, you know, situation, they're going to bring it to the store. But you know how that works. A lot of stores don't get it. You know, when they get it, you know, they get two or three, then here comes somebody else, and they're just going to buy all three of them. Man, I'm going to just sell them for 500 apiece on eBay. Dude, look, Fred is dead. I ain't got no time for all that. People doing way too much out here. You know, if you've seen the scalping market for the Transformers, man, I had to leave that whole damn line alone. People were doing too damn much. You know, the figures jumped damn near 100%. You know, like I said, I was able to get um, Titans Return, Metroplex, and Fortress Maximus, Scorponok, uh for like 100 a piece. Now they're going for damn near 300 a piece. I'm not buying that. What the hell is going on? Who the hell gonna buy this? It's like they just stopped caring. 
And it's like everybody's sitting here looking. I'm trying to figure out how do Mattel study put out their wrestling figures over and over. They figures get out. Now, you know, you look at that Mattel wrestling section and it's full. And I know you hear me saying wrestling. Yeah, you hear me saying that. Shit. Eh, it is what it is. <laughs> but you hear me say the wrestling, fam. And all of those figures are on the shelf. But you look every damn where else, all the other pegs are damn near empty. Even a He-Man is damn near empty. So you're like, damn. So y'all focusing on the wrestling men, you know, and um, the WWE collection and all of that. But y'all focusing on that. I'm trying to figure what the hell is really going on. Like I told you, the Funko Pops, you know, they damn near sank. And they still not bringing anything out. And all the stuff that they supposed to have for the Target Con, it finally arrived at the Targets that I go to. And it ain't worth picking up to me. It's to me. To me. I looked through all the stuff they had. And I was like, it's a pass for me. You know, I was looking through all the stuff. I was looking through the Neckaholathon stuff. Because it came out late. I seen the stuff now. And it's like, I don't want to pick up that either. Maybe I wanted to pick it up a couple of weeks ago. But I don't want to pick it up now. It's just like, eh, after everybody talked about it, why am I picking it up? So these are the things that I'm talking about, fam. You know, a lot of people just don't care. You know, they got the wrong people in the wrong departments with these companies, man. You need to have better, better, you know, uh, performers in certain positions. You know, you need to have some people who have um, experience with like certain toys. Like if you had Mattel and you got Barbie over here, He-Man over here, and you got uh, the wrestling man over here. You need to have somebody who's experienced in each section, who can bring sales up, who can market the stuff, who know what they're doing, have an internet presence, have a collector on there helping, you know, to bring some of this stuff out. But man, you know, then a lot of people were talking to me about fake ass YouTubers. Fam, you know what? They're fake every damn thing. And you know what? I can't really be mad at anybody for um, taking product or anything like that. All I just say is you'll just say your video sponsored. Don't tell me at the end after I finish watching, you know, oh, I got it for free, but I want you to pay for it. That's what that sounds like. And, you know, man, it's real here. You know, people talk about people beefing in every other sector. They're beefing in this sector. You just don't pay attention to it. People don't say people names anymore. People mention people. It's like an honorable mention. They mention you. Then all of a sudden you got to figure out who it is they're talking about. And there you go with it. It's just how it's working, fam. Uh, it's a lot going on. But, you know, again, people have been asking me, is a lot of these toy companies scalping their own merchandise? Fam, I believe this is, ha this is happening. Um, but to later, thanks, fam. Peace out.